based upon the Japanese pop star Yoko Ishino's song Teddy Boy Blues, this Sega System 1 game could quite possibly be the very first arcade game to feature a celebrity endorsement. In this game you play as a boy who must destroy boxes from which enemies come out of. The controls are pretty basic with only a jump and a shoot being available. At first the jump feels rather laggy but you'll soon become accustomed to it. Shots from your gun will turn enemies into miniature versions which must be collected for points. Failing to collect a shrunken enemy within a certain time limit will result in them flying to the bottom of the screen to eat your time bar. This isn't actually a problem but it will stop you from ranking up a high score. Collecting multiple shrunken enemies in succession will double the points for each pickup leading to much higher scores. Once all the enemies and boxes are destroyed, the level is complete. After completing a few stages, you are able to enter the bonus stage. Here you can select between the boy or Yoko Ishino. Choosing the boy will allow you to play a shooting gallery bonus stage, while selecting Yoko will take you to her apartment where she must search for treasure around the room. The first part of Teddy Boy Blues came out on the Mass System, or Sega Mark III to be exact, in 1985, the same year the arcade machine was released. This port follows the arcade version in terms of gameplay and character design, however the stage layouts vary greatly from those found in the arcade game. Some may say they are even more difficult. The bonus stages have also been changed. No longer do you control Yoko walking around her apartment looking for treasure or even the boy in a shooting gallery. Now you are placed on a looping screen filled with boxes. Opening these will reveal treasure or an enemy. Touching an enemy will automatically end the bonus stage. This mass system port was also released in Brazil by Tectoy as one of the cheaply sprite hacked games. The main character has been replaced with Geraldinho. I hope I pronounced that correctly, a popular comic book character of the time. The second part of Teddy Boy Blues was for the Mega Drive, but only as a downloadable title on the Sega Game Toshokan service. As a result there is no music in this release, except for the tallying up and bonus round score. This is quite a strange port because it's technically not even a port, but then again it's not a sequel either. The concept of the game is the same as the arcade version, but it now features all newly designed graphics and stage layouts. There's also no connection to Yoko Ishino's Teddy Boy Blues song. The bonus stages are more in line with the Mass System version. Here you play as Yoko, a different Yoko than that of the arcade game, as she opens up treasure boxes to find goodies. A few years later many of the Sega Toshokan releases were bundled together onto CD compilations for the Mega CD, known as the Game Kanzume Volumes 1 and 2. Teddy Boy Blues can be found on Volume 2. This is basically the same game that we saw on the Mega Drive but now with CD audio for the main levels and a few more chiptune jingles at the end of stages. Some sources on the net claim that this version has more stages than the Mega Drive version. How true that is, I couldn't say.
Teddy Boy finally got another port to the Mega CD, but not as a game disc. Oh no! It was featured on the Sega Game User Collection Sing CD. This is a fantastic CD featuring vocalised tracks from classic Sega games such as Afterburner 2, Golden Axe 2 and even Ernest Evans. The vocals are provided by Japanese pop stars of the time, including the great Kenji Katayama, who is from the group Blue, and also sang Mr. Dandy at the end of the first Bubblegum Crisis anime. Let's take a look at all those versions of Teddy Boy Blues running side by side. 